Okay. Are we up? Are we up? Are we running? Are we running? I think we are. Okay, let me go into my chat here. What's up? What's up, everyone? First boot, emulation station. We have a theme gallery that shows a flyer of the theme and which you can see before you download with the submission for new themes. Nice. New system videos are amazing. A couple of new systems, MS1 and a couple of other ones. Nice. We'll check it out. What's up, Death Row? What's up, Thomas? What's up, Frost? What's up, Joshua? What's up, 321? What's up, Shrimp? What's up, Old Samuel? What's up, Joshua? What's up, Mediterranean Mud Cake? You guys just came in here like that. Thanks, guys. So uh, this is first boot of Project HyperPy. I'm going to be using the F710. Logitech controller for this. I have it on a SanDisk Ultra 128 gigabyte micro SD card. The image itself is just under 14 gigabytes. Let me just do this really quick. I'll get you the exact size in a moment here. And uh, it does not come with media and it does not come with ROMs. So you will have to get that. There are ROMs all over the internet. There's something called Google. Check it out. There's also some ROM packs out there to stay to stay safe. I can't tell you on the stream, but I'm sure other people in the forums and on the chat will direct you to those appropriate places. Now, um, what I want to show you, okay, the actual file size of this base image. So this is a base image. This is something you want to start out with. Look how beautiful that is. Mm. So I wonder why it starts with hacks. Okay, well, it starts with hacks on there. So I guess this is a default theme. Um, let's see what's in the options really quick. Hold on, first I gotta tell you what, how, how big is this file. It's 13.8 gigabytes. Okay, I wanna see what kind of scripts we have here. So we have audio script. We have all the basic scripts right there. You do have the extended hard drive script and then your switch to a track mode script as well. Um, let's just check out a track mode really quick so you can see what the base of track mode looks like. And then we gotta load this thing up with games before it becomes this, the thing that we all wanna see. There is a media install script. Yes, Mike has just told me that. Um, so many of you know there's video snaps, which are the video previews. Um, there is, and also the artwork. So evidently there's a script built on here where the previous HyperPy, it was such a large file, I forget. It was like 30 or 40 gigabytes, I don't know. It was, it was a large file. And uh, because it came preloaded with all that information, all that data already on it. So it looks like this time it's gonna be a smaller file. Let's watch the intro. So anyways, what I was saying was that um, before, oh cool, there's a little introduction thing. Here, welcome to HyperPy 2. I need to lower the volume, huh? This is running on the Pi. Let me know how, um, let me know how the volume is, guys. So before I finish my last point is this does not have the, the media pre-installed on it. You have to go get it yourself or there's a script that they've put on here. So this is my first time checking this out, guys, so I gotta read this too. Welcome to HyperPy 2. To make the most of your HyperPy 2 experience, you need to set up your button assignment correct in the track mode configuration. Press tab on your keyboard to enter the configuration. Da -da 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 Do right, left, back, select, okay. The buttons you assign for custom one will enter the search game dialog. Custom two will hide the game description text the game description features can also be permanently disabled. Cool. To disable it, enter the configuration. We hope you enjoy HyperPy. Keep up to date with that. Make sure you join the group. Okay, great. Okay, so the uh, left button will also take you to the same menu that they were just talking about. You don't necessarily need a keyboard, it looks like. You just need your left on your... I'm doing this all via controller. However, I'm, I'm having a hard time to figure what to go. Okay, so by default, my X button goes in and my A button goes, I think it's my A button goes back, yeah. A is back, X is in. So we can go to controls. And uh, I'm just gonna keep it how it is because I don't need to mess with that. And then,
There's your custom buttons. Custom one and custom two. Let's, um, what if I set these as my, Jesus. I'm really not gonna mess with this that much yet, but let's go ahead and uh, do that for that one, and custom two for that one. I can put that one. Okay, so I set my custom one, custom two. I'm gonna go back, back, back. Okay, so this is HyperPie, and this is why everyone loves it, is look at this, all displays. How do I get rid of this thing? Do I have to do the... No, 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 I don't want to do... <laughs> okay. Okay, so how do I... Oh, I'm in hyper mode setup, that's why. Okay, let's go to all displays. Oh, press the right... Press right toggle this tutorial. Press right to toggle the tutorial. I'm pressing, there it goes, okay. All right, so we got rid of the tutorial. I'm figuring this out, guys, all right? So here's arcades. Music sucks. Music's a little bit loud, sorry guys. Um, let me see if I can return that down. It's really hard in a track mode. But let me see what I can do here. I mean, did that help the music at all? Press right, press right. I got it now. Thanks, Mike. Okay, so consoles, computers. So this is called a nested file system. And then when, for example, when you go into consoles, you will then see all your consoles next. So let's go into consoles. And then here's all your consoles. Nice, wow, there's a lot of systems in here. All right, so let's check out the Nintendo 64 wheel, for example. And if we go up, Nintendo BS satellite view, nobody plays that. So we'll just go back up to, let's do Super Nintendo. Let's do NES here. So as you can see, just like before, menu goes away, full screen preview. So pretty nice. Looks like they're using some of uh, Hursty's artwork on the right, maybe, or maybe they've got the same files, I don't know. Because it kind of looks like Magazine Madness on the right side, and then that video preview on the left. Um, okay. All right, so that's one, let's go, let's go into a system really quick. And then when you go into the system, it would look like this. But guess what? We have no games on here yet. So let's go back. Let's go back. Um, you now have a theme gallery. So let's go ahead and see what kind of themes we have here. Okay, I gotta disable this. Okay, there we go. No. Okay, theme gallery. Let's click into here. Let's check out the theme gallery. Okay, here we go. So theme gallery, which there's a timer going on. So I guess you have 60 seconds to, to pick one. Okay, and then the lower right, they tell you, um, so first off, there's a, looks like there's some sort of update script here on the, so you can update the script as new themes come out. There's Hursty Blue Main, Robo Spin, Unified Snazzy, Comic Crazy, Hyper Pie 2, and Hursty System. Can we go page jumps? Let's do a page jump here. Okay, there we go. Okay, it doesn't look like there's that many. Okay, so you only get, it looks like to start, there's gonna be about one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that what I counted right? Six or seven different ones, but I like, I wanna stay on the Hyper Pi 2, but if you wanted to add one, let's just try Hyper, let's just try, no, I don't really wanna mess with this actually right now. <laughs> I wanna put some games on here first. Okay, and then we have exit a track mode. And then let's go to HyperPy setup, see what kind of uh, options we have in here. Whoa, okay. So that's cool. Um, what do we have here? Okay, so here I am. So, why does it say themes no matter what I do? It says themes no matter where I go. Okay, um, but, 
Okay, let's start in the upper left-hand corner here. It has the ROM media. Also, okay, here, I gotta read what Mike's saying as well. What's the best way to make games? Let's talk XML. I don't think you need to make one for this. I think you just drag and drop, bro. Thanks, got him, bro. Good to see you too, bro. If you go to layout options, you have different options and also to see your controls for theme, toggle, and chain changes. Okay, nice, 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 nice. You just gotta go back out with that timer. Okay, so the timer backs you, uh, backs you out for that. Okay, cool. So I want to show you guys this. So change intro video really easily. A lot of people like to change your splash screen video. I know that new Kentaro case just came out and some people were upset about the, the um, that video. It's very easy to change the introduction video. Okay, now it's working. Now I know, oh, I guess I was clicked on theme or something. So now it's gone. Okay, uh, change intro video. Configuration editor, display utility. So change your displays really easily. HyperPy Dev 2, please select the wheels. File Manager, reset a track mode. Wi-Fi, show your IP address, audio settings, Bluetooth, ROM media downloader, shutdown, reboot, RetroPie setup. Go back into emulation station, GPIO shutdown script pre-installed, nice to see that. And then generate and remove your favorites. Generate and remove, and then information about your Raspberry Pi, retro arc settings, so bezels, things like that. And then update a track mode. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to emulation station here. Whoops, I didn't, I pressed the wrong button. Now where am I? Okay, re emulation station. Okay, we're booting up into, uh... yes, this is for the Pi 3. I'm loading this on the Pi 3. This is not for the PC. So I am currently rebooting this. And uh, let's see how long this takes here. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Yo, Anthony, what's up, dude? So, so far we've checked out HyperPie and all the different options it has. But now we have to add some games. Yeah, the first Hyper Pie was awesome. I'm looking house, looking up for it too. Yeah, full house tonight. I agree. Man, this thing is stuck on whatever it's stuck at right now. Uh, what's up, Le Leechomatic? All right, cool. I'm not gonna mess with the theme gallery. Um, what I'm gonna do next is uh, load up some ROMs on there, check it out. Uh, I'll try to load some ROMs that won't take forever. And then I'll try to also do a, uh, a media gallery as well. Yes, this is dope, except it's taking a really long time to reboot. What kind of code is it running? I think I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna kill it. And let it, let it, let it survive here. Just give it a moment here. We're gonna reboot. Me thinks your pie crashed. I don't think it crashed. This has happened to me before. It just kind of does this thing, and then it's running like a some sort of background script, and then it eventually like kicks back in. But I don't know about you guys. I'm a little impatient. Okay. Um, so what I need to do is go on the network. I have my pie connected to the network now. All right, guys. I'm gonna switch to my um, I'm gonna switch to my computer screen so you guys could see that, and then I'll switch back. Okay. Okay. So we're still in a track mode, which is fine. We'll just keep it here. Okay. So now I'm gonna switch over to my computer. All right. You're on my computer, and uh, right now the first thing I'm doing is I'm transferring over all the BIOS files. So I have a um, I have an external hard drive with like all the BIOS files for Sega 32X, Atari, everything else. So those are just gonna help boot up the systems if they so need them, certain systems need them. So we're transferring those over first. 
And then we're gonna transfer over some, uh, this is, by the way, I'm transferring this all via the network. I do have my Pi plugged in via a LAN connection. So there's my RetroPie here. I'm in my RetroPie BIOS folder. So I'm in my network RetroPie BIOS. You can also transfer this via um, a, uh, a USB dongle. And uh, those are probably your two primary ways you're gonna do it. As you can see here, speeds fluctuate quite a bit. Okay, so once that gets started, we're gonna go back to our hard drive over here, which is filled up with ROMs. And uh, these are ROM packs. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll install some game. We'll do some Atari. We'll do some uh, Super Nintendo and get that all. First, we need to get this done though, which is this one right here. Once this finishes, we're gonna go back to ROMs. Okay, so let me get this started. Uh, what I'll do is I'll do some Nintendo games, some Sega games. Those should be pretty easy. And what I wanna test is, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and replace those files. Come on, 92, almost there. So I can't see chat right now while I'm in the uh, in my computer, but once I start transferring the other stuff. So what I'm gonna do, so back on this hard drive, for example, with Atari, I already have all the wheel work, all the artwork, and all the snap work in here. So their media download will download these for you. These are like these little videos, for example, the previews of the game. So this is 32 on my game, right? So these are the video snaps. We're, we're gonna transfer those over. So let's go, we're back on our Pi, back to ROMs. So let's go ahead and do like, for example, Atari 2600, Atari 2600. Go ahead and A, copy, paste. Wow, Atari 2600 is a lot bigger than I, th I guess that's all the video snaps and everything. All right, I'm gonna go back to the chat here while this is transferring. All right, just back there. All right, we're back. E.T., E.T., E.T. All right, Country Cletus, later. Hopefully, I'll catch you on the when it re-uploads. Um, I checked the reboot wheel. Yeah, it should reboot, Mike. This is just weird on my pie. It's all good. Um, Drew, will you make a vid about this build? This is the vid right now. We're making the vid. I'm just gonna build it up right now for this video and then it'll post to YouTube. Uh, if there's a part where we mess up, I might <laughs> I might cut out that that part. But other than that, we'll be, uh, we'll be doing it. We'll be going live with this. I use torrents. Yeah, you gotta use torrents for this build. It's about 13.8 gigabytes. Drew, will you make it? Okay, I don't answer that. Drew, wanna see something cool? Try toggle layout feature, you'll need to assign a button in a track mode. Okay, try toggle layout feature. And we got Easy Hacks Tool V2. Yeah, there's a bunch of really cool scripts being dropped um, on this project all the time. Where are we at with Atari? So at Atari, we're at 45%. Um, I don't think you guys wanna wait that long for all the systems, so I'm probably gonna just transfer a few games for some of the other systems. All right, we're at 51% now on, on the Atari. Almost there. Okay, so he wants me to do, let's see if I can get this set up here. No. Okay. So you're saying if I hit, somebody was saying if I go, let's go to controls really quick. And they were saying if you go, let's see what we got here. Somebody just said to do the thing. Where's this chat at? Okay, want well, to see, try Troggle Layout Feature. Is that one of the controls? Okay, Toggle Layout Feature. Okay, here we go. So, what do I want to control? Okay, I need to do a setting for this action. Let's add an input. Let's do Analog Up. 
Can I, can I not assign that button? Okay, add input. I'm pretty much using all my buttons now. How about right trigger? Alright, play pad 5. Back. Back, back. Back. Okay. Oh, here we go. Nice. It's kind of like a big box type thing. Consoles, handhelds. Nice. That's pretty cool. So that's called toggle. Oh, replace file destination. Yeah. All right. So we're done with Atari. Let me do some Super Nintendo here. Or maybe I should do like Sega 32X because there's not that many games. How big is Sega 32X? Properties. Only 156 megabytes. Let's do that. Okay, Sega 32X, and then why don't we, we're gonna transfer over Sega 32X. You can't see this right now, I'm just doing it on my computer really quick, but you saw the previous one. Okay, Sega 32X, got it, paste. All right, we're gonna transfer Sega 32X, and then with Super Nintendo, what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna copy the ROMs, because I wanna try out this media downloader, and then have them download me the media for it. But I'm probably do that last because I hope that doesn't take me like two hours. Yeah, maybe I should only transfer some of the Super Nintendo games so it doesn't take a long, long time. So where am I looking here? SNES? There we go, SNES. Okay. So I'm going to do SNES catalog up to A. Do all the A's. Control C. And then... Oh, whoops, I messed that up too. So, SNES, transferring over to Super Nintendo now. Okay, Super Nintendo's done. We're just about there, and then we just need to do a reboot really quick. I'm probably going to stay in a track mode for the time being, just for now. Second 32X. Second 32X. Control A. Control X. Okay, just about done. Going back to the live streamer. Would Streets of Rage remake work for this build? I mean, does it work for all the other builds? Oh, exit, there's exit. No, 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 I don't wanna exit track mode. So how do I get out of this menu though? Exit a track mode. I guess I wanna do all displays. Hmm, okay, now I'm in collections. So we go back. Ah, okay, so you can just go from here. Oh, we want all displays, okay. Let's click into there. Oh, I see what happens. So you can get different setups. So here's all displays, so you can just get all of them. Wow, there's a lot. So all displays gives you all the CPSs, all the, all the collections. Wow, there's a lot of displays here. Yeah, yeah, I'm checking out all these layouts. Okay, replace these files. All right, we're good there. Delete this file. All right, cool. Um, what do we need to do? I want to exit now. So I want to go... If you go back from here, where does that go? That goes back to the all display. Okay, it goes back here. Okay, now I want to go, I can either exit a track mode, or I go to track mode setup, that's what I want. HyperPy setup, because I want to reboot. And then, where's my reboot? Reset, update, reboot, there we go. Okay, reboot. Okay. So we've added Sega 32X with video snaps and pictures. We've added Atari. We added some Super Nintendo games. I want to I want to show you what the difference is when you just drop ROMs versus when you drop ROMs with artwork, things like that. And then we're going to try the media downloader because that's one of the big perks of HyperPy is that you don't have to go collecting your artwork and finding missing artwork and scraping and all that stuff. So let's give that a whirl.
toggle. I was toggling, Rudy. Yeah, it does have kind of a big box look. Okay, so now I'm in this. So my question is, how do I get out of, if I don't want this display menu, how do I get back to my previous display menu? Okay, so let's go back to all displays. Okay, we're gonna go to all displays. And then, once we're in all displays, we're gonna now go up to our systems, which are at the top. And now we should have Sega 32X all set up. Let's try this out. Sega. Let's see what the video is for Sega 32X. All right. Okay, so let's go in there. Boom! We have all 32 Sega 32X. We got metadata on the right. We got video snaps in the middle. We've got cartridge and box art and logos on the left. Yeah, nice. So here's what it would look like when you drop all the all, all the games on here. And then so if we go back, and then we go to Atari. We should have our Atari 2600. You guys saw me transfer that over. Let's see if it works. Atari 2600. Let's let's enjoy the full the full screenness of it. And we go in. All right, there we go. Let's see if we got ET on here. Let's scroll down. So something to note on the scrolling is it never speeds up like Emulation Station does. I don't know if you guys like that or hate that. I kind of like it, kind of hate it, because sometimes I'm in Emulation Station and I like move way past some things. But then other times, if I got like a thousand games in a directory, I don't want to have to. Uh, Go crazy. Okay, so here's ET. Let's launch ET. Let's see if ET works. Wow, look at that. Hyper Pi putting some avatars of the devs on the boot screen. So there's pixelated champions on the on the front. And there we are, we're in ET. Alright. Uh raise base image with the library in your golden. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much it. All right, so here we are with this alien, and we don't know where. The, okay, it's telling me down, and now it's telling me right, and now it's telling me up, and now it's telling me right. I'm just gonna follow the arrows. Okay, so you extend your neck. Can I eat stuff? Oh, I, I'm falling. I think he's about to die. He's about to die of steps. Oh no, I fell in a ditch. Okay, start select out of it. <laughs> do people actually use Cody on their Pi? I don't know, I never do. I don't think it runs very good on a Pi. Okay, so now here we are in Emulation Station. And what's the name of this theme? What do they call it? They call it HyperPi 2 Meta. Oh, with metadata and no metadata. And then there's Carbon Hursty Blue. Okay, so let's keep it on that theme. Screensavers, quick system select is on, carousel's on, screensaver settings is after four minutes. Okay, cool. And what else did I want to check? I wanted to check game collection settings. There are 20 collections on here if you have them. Shoot 'em ups, Zelda, okay, back. We can create new, group unthemed, okay. Other settings. VRAM is at 120, power savings disabled. Save metadata is on. Let's make sure the sound isn't too loud as well while we're in here. Okay, that needs to drop. Okay, cool. So, back, back, back. Where's my back? There we go. Okay. So Amiga's showing right now because it has the um, the settings in there. But here's the um, the theme. There are no hack games here. Let's go over. You do have Pixel in your ports. Residual VM, RetroPie. So here's our Sega 32X. This is what we added. We added all the th all the video snaps and the pictures. So there you go. Boom. You go down, afterburner, picture, metadata, video snaps. I like this. I like the sonic background. I like the big fonts. 
easy to scroll through. Pretty nice, pretty good stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and check out some MK2. I think we're gonna have a similar loading screen. Yep, same loading screen you're gonna see in HyperPy. And there we go. Cool. So no bezels to start. You will have to add your own bezels if you want to. Cool. Sub-zero. I'm just gonna play for a couple seconds. Make sure this is all working. Maybe freeze him once if I can, probably not. He'll probably kill me first. Where's my punch button? Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on, get a freeze in there. Oh. Oh, he beat me. I thought I had him. Okay, uh, Knuckles Chaotix, very nice. So if you go between menus here, so here's a, a system Super Nintendo where I didn't transfer the video snaps, I didn't transfer the artwork, but I just transferred the ROMs. And so you have the metadata, but you won't have the, um, the artwork, the video snap. So Arrow Fighters, for example, you still can load the ROM, it works fine but you wanna have that matching artwork or you wanna use that ROM downloader or the media downloader that they have for the HyperPy track mode. Hey Drew, I know why, okay, why was it enabled to download? <laughs> okay, another game, another day. USA, Keaton. All right, so as you see, it's running really well. We have a little beehive over here. We've got a pee. Power up, baby. All right, cool. So that's running good. Push Vesper, then enter. All right, we're gonna try it. Okay, so this is um, emulation station, right? Once you get the video snaps, everything else is going to look similar to this. You can also go to uh, Hursty Blue very easily. Comes pre-installed as well. I'll just show you that really quick. Then we'll go back into a track mode. Again, I can load this thing up with all 128 gigabytes. Do you know SNES, NES, Nintendo 64, all that stuff. It just it would take me a while to transfer all that through my network. What I typically do is just transfer that all when I'm not doing anything. You know. So we gotta go back. So now here's the, um, that should actually work just because I need to reboot. But uh, this is a, a Motion Blue uh, version of Emulation Station. Okay, so let's go ahead and back out. And what we wanna do is go back to RetroPie and back to a track mode. And then, so just so you know, for those of you who haven't seen my videos before, you're new to this, is when you switch to a track mode and you shut down your Pi, your Pi will reboot into whatever mode you last shut it down on. So by switching into track mode now, a track mode now, when we shut off and we reboot, it'll boot back up into track mode. If we were in emulation station, we never went into a track mode. We just stayed in emulation station. That means that when you boot up again, when you shut down and you reboot, it'll boot up in emulation station. So it's that simple between switching between the two as your default uh, boot up. So for those of you the bar top. You probably want it to, or arcade, probably want it to boot up uh, into a track mode. That's a slick theme. Yeah, that motion blue is a thick theme. Who, are you guys having poutine in the chat? What's up with that? Run Street Fighter and Star Fox. I didn't, I didn't put Street Fighter and Star Fox on here yet. All right, so high pie setup. Here we go, ROM downloader. Press spacebar, then enter, huh? I mean, this is the moment of truth. Oh, it, it went, it didn't go through again. It, 
It's doing this thing where it buffers. That's so weird. Just gonna reboot it really quick. Yeah, it would take a few hours for. Um, oh, how long does it take a 128 gigabyte to download? If it's going really fast, I can get five six megabytes per second. So do the math there. But sometimes it'll take me a week to get some of them. My Pi is really weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> it probably is my Pi or something I installed or something. Um, so, but as far as transferring all your own ROMs onto your thing, it's slow onto your, through your network, it's slow. So, um, all right, here we go. Let's see. ROM downloader. There we go. Okay, we're in. We're going to try Super Nintendo space bar. Oh, I see. You got to put a check mark on it first. Now I feel like an idiot. Okay, I see. So I was just hitting enter when I didn't check anything. So I got to go to Super Nintendo. So let's just do Turbo Graphics because I don't want to be here all night. And I don't think you guys do either. So now that we got Super Graphics, so space bar. Ah, see, that's what you need to do. You see that dot? That dot right there? Okay. So now that we got the dot, now we hit enter. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I'll probably cut out that first part of this video. Okay, cool. All right, so just download it all. I don't know if we have to reboot or not. Let's try not rebooting. So let's go back. And then we wanna to go to all displays. All displays. And then we're gonna go back to, we're gonna now go to our super graphics file, wherever that is. Jeez, where's, did I pass it? Super graphics. Okay, now I gotta find out where this collection is. Did I miss it? You passed it earlier. Oh, there it is, Nick. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Super graphics. Okay. Is that it? Super graphics? Am I missing it? Is it, oh, is it under turbo? Maybe I gotta reboot. Okay, back, back. I'm gonna reboot really quick. Right, it should be under super graphics, right? Yeah, super graphics. And we click in. None. Okay. I might be because we have to reboot or something. Um, let me go ahead and refresh my retro pie over here. Let me just see if it populated. Oh, interesting. Interesting. It deleted my ROMs when I did that. That was really weird. The ROMs are gone now. On the on the network. Okay. Anyways, super graphics. All right, we're gonna put the games back on there. Okay. Back. Okay, but I can show. I can tell you right now that the the artwork is there. 
Um, what did I want to do? Okay, the track mode setup. All right, and reboot. It's all good. It's all good. I'm just feeling it out. Um, I love having a hard drive on my Pi. Yeah, it's pretty nice, especially if you want to get a bunch of stuff. Reboot is your friend. There's lots of rebooting going on. Um, Drew, are there any Facebook retro pie groups you would promote? If so, what are they? Um, all of them, to be honest. ETA Prime, Mad Little Pixel, Project Hyper Pi. Actually, I'd probably say those ones. Um, Simply Austin has a Facebook group. You can check out my Facebook page. I don't have a group, I have a page. Um, I would say those are all really good. Um, also, uh, Retromaniacs are cool. Um, Team ZT seems pretty cool. All those guys are doing good stuff. I haven't heard anything crazy from any of them. Okay, now we're going back, all displays. RetroPie theme hub. There you go. So, okay, there we go. So for Super Graphics, it downloaded the box art and the and the game, but doesn't download any video snaps. And that just might be for Super Graphics. So let's go ahead and try. Let's try another system really quick. Maybe something that's a little more known. What's a system that's not a ton of games? Neo Geo is how many gigs? 2.7, that's a lot. Let's do like SG-1000 or something. Yeah, SG-1000 is 87 megabytes. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy SG-1000. Control A, Control C. This might also be just the ROMs I'm using don't match up to theirs. Okay, no, I only want to download the ROMs. I don't want to get the video snap. I was getting the video snaps too. I only want the ROMs. Okay. All right, cool. So we got the ROMs on there. We got to go back on here. Back. We're going to go to a track mode setup. We're going to go back to that media installer. And this time we're going to put it on the... SG, Sega SG-1000. Okay. All right, we're downloading. So this one's gonna take, wow, those video snaps though. All right, it's gonna take a, a minute or two. Cole Eco. Um, SBC Gaming on Reddit. Okay, good to know. Did you copy your ROMs or move them? I copy them because I want to keep them on that hard drive that I have. Most of the videos are brand new, made by Eddie Smith. Shout out to Eddie Smith. Good job. Those full screen videos are killer. That's definitely something that um, that uh, sets it aside. Is there nude pictures? Enhance. <laughs> oh, the snaps haven't been uploaded in the Super Graphics repository yet. Damn. All right. So there you have it. That should be up and running soon. That's probably why you might notice that the Super Graphics is only 19 megabytes compared to like some of the other systems, which are over 100. The space image is out for downloading right now. I'll put a link to the, I'll put a link to the Project HyperPi, oh shoot, I'm using the wrong keyboard. I'm gonna put a link in the description to the HyperPi group. So you should go, go to that group that I just put in the description. And uh, hopefully they'll be kind enough. Sound music. 
people like that kind of stuff if it's really easy to manage. I get those questions all the time. How do I turn on this music? How do I turn off this music? It, and if there was a script for it, we're just like, okay, go to RetroPie, click the background music button, click one on your keyboard, click enter. You're done. People like that. So when will we see the end all be all Drew Talks 128 gigabyte image? I don't think you ever will. Um, I'm I'm working on another project right now where I am building a 200 gigabyte image for another um, release. And uh, it's really hard, even at 200 gigabytes, it was like I had to decide between, oh, do I add this many Dreamcast games, this many PlayStation games? Like when you get up to the CD games, like the PlayStation and the Dreamcast and the PSP, you can't put them all. I mean, PlayStation, there's 1,600. Um, okay, so we did the ROM downloader. Let's go ahead and give this a restart, a reboot. Well, first I wanna see if it works without a reboot. Let's see if it works without a reboot, and then we'll think about rebooting. Okay, so we just did SG-1000, all displays. And we wanna go to Sega SG-1000. Okay, moment of truth. Okay, I need to restart. <laughs> I need to restart, but I also want to see while I have it open, did it uninstall all my ROMs? So do you need to... Where's my SG-1000? What? Okay, I need to reboot. I don't even, what? I don't even know what just happened. Okay, um, what do I wanna do? I wanna go back, back. A track mode setup, reboot. I just went into my, um, okay, now I can't see it again, but I know that this is reboot here. Okay, let's go back. There's something not right there. And now it's doing this. That's so weird. What if we exit a track mode like this? Yes. Okay, and then we just do this, a track. What? That's so weird. Oh, I actually didn't want to track one setup. Okay, it's still doing that now. Okay. Uh, all displays. I don't think it's gonna work. Just based on what I see on my network. Oh, see, now nothing is showing. What? Uh, I do have these little files called SG-1000 on the bottom of my ROMs directory. Let's go ahead and delete those. Let's see, do I still have my Sega 32X in here? Okay, so that those games are still there. All right, cool. You know, I didn't do a hard re reboot, though. So let me, um, let me actually go exit. That might be it. Let me reboot here. Let me reboot here. Uh, okay, we're just going to shut it down. Why does yours do that for? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, 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 Mike. Yeah, so that's what I'm learning here is install the media first, then drag your ROMs, okay? Install your media, the video snaps, things like that first, then install your ROMs. 
okay, what are some best practices for getting this set up? Basically, you just gotta load it up and load up your ROMs. I'm just trying to test out all the features and stuff. But as you saw, if I just dra dragged and dropped my ROMs, they all work just fine. Okay, so now I'm missing the SG-1000 folder. So let's go ahead and do this one more time really quick. I don't wanna wait for that download again. Um, okay, so I think that's it for now. I think we got everything. Theme gallery, let's go ahead and try a different theme really quick. Let's try a robo spin. Oh, geez. Please select a theme to download. Back. Okay. No, I don't want to do that right now. All right, so here's all the systems, all displays, exit, track mode setup, computers, consoles. Um, you can do collections, consoles, hack, system info, track mode setup. So my question with this is controls. I thought I had my toggle layout input on there. Okay, so now we now we got back to the hair, to our vertical wheel, toggle layout. I actually like it a lot like this. And so consoles, we should have Sega 32X. My SG-1000 is not working, I can tell you that. Yeah, I need to redo it. I can just see that from my file system. Uh, but we added Atari 2600. That was a trial and error thing. But as you can see here, Atari 2600. Boom. Booyah. Play a little Frogger. Pepsi, man. Metal Slug. I, don't, I haven't put any of that stuff up there. Keep toggling. Oh, okay. There's more toggling I need to do. All right, here we go. I need it. I forget how this game works. You have to like move up. Okay, there we go. Oh, Jesus, m move. He didn't move. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. <laughs> Frog down. Okay, keep toggling, right? Oh, wow. Grid view. Vertical wheel view. Cover flow view. Oh, see, you gotta show me this stuff. How come I can't go left to right though? Oh, there we go, favorite. Oh, I gotta go down into the thing. Favorites, all. So I wanna see all. Oh, it goes into a full screen. All, okay. Frostbite, okay. Funky fish. Okay, I gotta press down. G.I. Joe. Galaxian. Oh, nice. All right, what if I go back? Okay, now I'm in consoles. I wanna do this with, with 32X. Sega 32X. Toggle. And then we go to the grid view, right, is first? Grid view, all right, cool. So grid view. We can, oh boy, how do I know what game I'm in? Game one. Lion King? 
Pocahontas? Oh, here we go. Okay, so there's hummingbirds and stuff. All right. So if we do if we do it again though, <laughs> we should go to the vertical wheel. We go to all. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's our vertical wheel. NBA Jam. Okay. We hit toggle again. Cover flow flat view. NBA Jam, football. Then we have our pitfall. Sega 32X. Cool. Okay, so the toggle view button is pretty legit. I'll give you guys that. And then there's a vertical. Look at that. And then on the bottom, there's this view. Okay, I like that feature a lot. This is impressive. So very much like recall box, big box, things like that. All right, and now we have a some sort of box, uh, cart view. Very cool. I like the cart view. That's pretty cool. Because on the previous views, I didn't like them very much because they all say hyper pie, but this view you can actually see like the different um, things. By RC from the NYC. Have a good night, buddy. Vertical wheel view. Okay, we already saw this view. Okay, now that was impressive. Thank you. It was worth it, Rudy. Thank you for the reminder. Um, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Um, I'll probably upload like a, a really a briefer version of this video, just like an overview of HyperPy. But uh, overall, it's awesome. It's very cool. Um, it has a lot of features that Recallbox has. It definitely built up from the previous HyperPy. I think they listened to people. It's a lot less laggier than the previous one. I think that was one of the complaints about it. Um, I'm sure that they did that with how they optimized it and everything. So uh, overall, I'm gonna have to give this thumbs up. Good job uh, for, to the HyperPy guys. I know they put in a lot of work on it. Um, I put a link in the description to their group if you wanna get it, if you wanna you know, thank them. I'm sure they would appreciate just a thank you or good job. So here's my good job, good job. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe this video. If you do have any questions, comment below. But that's pretty much how you get it set up and some first looks at some of the features and things that are in uh, Project HyperPy version two. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll catch you on the next one. Poutine for the win, okay. I, I do wanna thank everyone for stopping by. I wanna give special th thanks to, where is he, Mike? Manly for stepping in and answering all the questions for me. I'm not an easy guy to go around, so thank you, buddy. Eric, thanks for stopping by. Retro Junkie, thanks for stopping by. Hugh Ragsdale, thanks for stopping by. Brian, Kenny, uh, RC from the NYC. Rudy, thanks for the help with the trigger. Uh, Renee Cam, thanks for stopping by. Rambot Tweety One, thanks for stopping by. Oh, who else we have? King and G, Death Row, thank you guys both. Jesse Schultz, thanks for stopping by. Who else was here? Got him, bro. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, who else was in here? Smacks X, thanks for stopping in. Yun Vum Y Cool Name, thanks for stopping in. Eric, thanks for stopping in. Who else we got here? Oh, We're Dirty Gaming was in here. Thanks, buddy. Uh, who else? Who else am I missing? That's all it's on. Oh, Old Samuel and Jason, Joshua Mossman. Thank you guys. Oh, and Wilson Brady. Thank you guys all. Namaste, and we'll catch you on the next one.